Right guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the XP system in each of the seasons in Chapter 2. Um, so if you guys are new, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and I have a big announcement soon as well. Um, only a few people know, but um, it will be my next video. So t there won't be a stream today, there will be a stream tomorrow, and then the day after that it will be that video. So um, yeah, that will be a very awesome video guys, for you and for me as well. But um, yeah, let's get into the video. So the reason we're going to be talking about Chapter 2 and not Chapter 1 as well is because I didn't really play in Chapter 1 and have no clue how the systems really work and don't really care at all because that was years ago now. So I'm going to be talking about Chapter 2. And um, if you guys want to know how to level up fast, click the link in the description and that will lead you to my playlist as well to level up fast this season. Um, and there will be more videos of that upcoming. So, in Chapter 2... Season 1, which started in around October 2019, um, we saw the addition of a whole new XP system and a whole new chapter, a whole new map, everything was new. And I got level 395 that season, didn't grind, didn't buy any levels, just played the game normally. Didn't know how to grind, didn't have any methods, didn't care for the grind. But, um, yeah, so that, that season XP was much different than it is now. We were introduced with something called medal punch cards and if you don't know what that is they gave 60,000 XP per day and you get um, uh, 10 medals I believe together you could get and it was all different you can get them for open chests for surviving for um, getting kills you know just stuff like that you can literally just play the game normally like that and you'll get them done but um but th that was the introduction of them, and we also had uh, the XP from open chests and ammo box getting kills. You know, it showed on the screen when we were getting that, which is a really good feature. And um, it it was what, believe it or not, guys. Right, I actually didn't know about this, but I did research before this video and found this out. I actually didn't know. On the first day of the season, the first few days, the XP was terrible. It was like 95 XP per kill or something. It was really, it was really bad. It was like 50 XP for an ammo box. I can't really remember exactly, but um, yeah, that's how that's how bad it was. But then it got buffed in, uh, by a lot. Kills were like 255 XP, and it's, it's changed a lot. Yeah, chapter 2, season 1, I, d I don't really count it for a grind season really, for me. I did get 395, but I just played the game normally, bought no levels, didn't care, and so on. So yeah, that was the XP system in chapter 2, chapter 2, season 1. So, now we have chapter 2, season 2. The best season of, th this was the best season, no one can change my mind. Chapter 2, Season 2 was the best season, and we had the introduction of more level rewards, like up to level 350, the, like the introduction of the Golden Agent styles, which everyone enjoyed, and not everyone got there. Only uh, 700 to 1000 people even got Gold Peter alone, and that was just uh, unlocking level 300, which is absolutely insane, and I'm lucky to be one of those people. I got level 354 in that season, bought no tears, grinded it all, and my methods that season to get that was I actually looted Craggy Cliffs, and so I, I made the Craggy Cliffs method, it's, I, it was my first ever video on the channel, it's my method, and that's what I did to get from World Computer. I also did another method, because if the bus path wasn't for Craggy, if I couldn't go there, I would actually do this really long method, I need to just destroy these. But I would do this really long method, and I'll show you right now, the map, let me just destroy some slurp canisters. Okay, um, so the method I did, Right, this was this was really long. It lasted all the way until a four tick, till like the storm ticked for four. But I used to land right here. You see this place right here on my marker, and I would loot all the way down here. I'd loot all this area, and I'd loot all down here too. And it was actually pretty effective. It got me to the 
anyway, so I don't really care. Don't use it now really at all, but it was a fun method to do. And the way I looted Craggy, I started up here, because that place was good in Season 2. Then I looted Craggy, came down here, looted the bridge, then I came down here and looted Risky, and then I was done. It was th they were really long methods I used to do. But it got me 354, and I bought no tears, and I stopped the grind at full gold PD anyway. Didn't see a point in going any further. Didn't have fun. So, um, yeah, now the next season, the worst season in my opinion, chapter 2, season 3, the whole map was flooded. And in season, sorry, I forgot to mention this, in season 2, uh, it was still the exact same XP system as season 1. So we still had the medal punch cards and stuff like that. XP was put down a bit as well. So it was like 150 for a kill now. 150 XP. And so now we get into chapter 2, season 3, which is the worst season in my opinion. Everything was flooded. We had the introduction and the we had the removal of medal punch cards. And we had the introduction of normal punch cards. So you would have to play the game normally, complete a bunch of them. Say, I don't know, assault rifle kills, shotgun kills, sniper kills, um, open chests, search ammo boxes, find llam search llamas, search rare chests, you know, just like that. And they gave XP for you as well. And we also had the introduction of quick challenges as well, which we do still have today as common quests. It sets as well as the punch cards, but as rare quests, pretty much it. But you, could, um, you can't really view them at all, only here. So um, yeah, that season the max level for all the rewards was level 160. I just I just got there and stopped. Um, bought no levels because in, back in the day I didn't grind for any. I only grinded for all the rewards. Didn't grind further. Didn't see a point in uh, grinding anymore after all the rewards. Didn't want to waste time. Just wanted to focus on content, play with friends, whatever. And um, when. I got there, I stopped the grind completely, and uh, the, the, it was all flooded, didn't find it fun at all. The methods I used was, uh, I didn't use Craggy, because it was all flooded. I used Misty, I actually used Misty, and I also looted Catty Corner. They, they were the methods I used in that season. But um, now we get to Chapter 2, Season 4, now oh, guys. Um, which was the Marvel season. The max level for all the rewards was level 225. And we also had the removal of banners in Chapter 2, Season 3. I forgot to mention as well. Uh, of Forever Up. And uh, Season 4, we had um, the introduction of mul multi coloured styles. So we had multiple styles of skins. So there was the Silver Foil, Gold Foil, and the Holo Hollow Foil. They were the stars we had, and the max level was 225. We still had the punch cards, but they were just all reset, of course. We had quick challenges, but um, they were changed down to 1000 XP instead of 1.4, which was in season 3. And um, the punch cards, I think, were changed a bit too. Um, it, it wasn't really by much, it was only by like a 400 XP, but um, yeah, it's still annoying. And then, here we go into Chapter 2, Season 5. Um, this season, I, I, when I look back at it, I didn't really have fun in that season. I, um, I don't really know, really. I, I got level 531 in that season though, bought all tiers for the first time. I don't know, just when I look back at it, it just doesn't really seem fun, you know what I mean? I don't know, nothing really happened in that season, just a ton of boring collabs which no, no one really cared for. And I forgot to talk to, talk to Bush Ranger, wow. Oh my god. Oh yeah, also a random question, right, has anyone been lagging really bad recently? Because I have been lagging so much, I have no idea why. Like everything I do is really delayed and it's so bad. Has anyone else been having See that what was that? Has anyone else been having really bad issues? I have some bad issues. But yeah, when we look back to uh, chapter two season five, um, XP got nerfed again by quick challenges. It was instead of five you had three and it was one K XP each. So yeah, it's, it sucks again, but um, you know, we it's out of our control. And a 
And then when, um... Focus when I have the worst people in the game. Oh, gun. So, the sun of the power. So, what the fuck? This guy is so bad. I don't understand. It can't be just me, right? This is so bad. This season. Yeah, as I was saying, season 5, we still had, uh, we got punch cards removed from the game, and we had quests instead, we had the bounties as well, we had NPCs introduced, um, we had brand new quests which replaced everything pretty much. It's basically just the same thing, just XP was lowered a bit, and they were called quests, that was it, just the exact same thing, just called quests instead. Started next, and this this season was, it was it was fun. It was a really good season, probably one of my favourite, honestly. But um, I just didn't like all the primal stuff. I don't think anyone did. But uh, I think the XP was exactly the same again, apart from the quicker in this was changed to 2.2k XP instead of 1k. So that was a really good change, honestly. Probably one of the best changes out of everything. But um, then um, we had punch cards or quests, however you want to call them. They were changed to by like a 500 XP. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. We got it done. Now I can focus on the video. Right. So um, yeah, season six, like I said, wasn't really many changes to that at all. Just um, the challenges, XP changing changes, but um, now we're on to chapter two, season seven. Uh, the common quest, quick challenges, whatever you want to call them, they are now uh, one point seven k XP, which is just they load it by five hundred, which is really annoying, and I probably have loading screen glitch because of how bad the internet is right now for everyone. But yeah, that's where you guys come in. Le let me know in the comments how you feel about this season, guys. I like it at the moment, I guess. I didn't like it at the start, that's why I had a uh, really big break. But, um, I mean, getting used to it now, I guess. But, um... Yeah, this is my sixth day grinding, currently level uh, 245. And also to mention, every single season in this chapter, they changed weekly challenges by so much, like it was honestly really annoying, right, like they would lower the XP every time, I, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but honestly, every single season they lowered the XP for weekly changes, one of the most annoying changes ever, and then XP coins as well, they were sometimes in the season, sometimes not, in season 1 they were introduced near the end of the season, and they were just the green ones, season 2, they were s introduced with the green, blue, purple gold but they were terrible for xp they were nothing there's a few chests worth of xp so terrible and then uh season three did we did we even get xp coins in season three i don't even know i didn't really play the season i didn't find it fun season four we had xp coins season five we did as well but season six we didn't get any which is i don't know why season seven we haven't got them yet maybe soon though but yeah, honestly, it's, it's, the XP system is so strange, guys. It always changes every season for some reason, like, in a really weird way. Like, some of them are really pointless changes. But, you know, like I said at the start of the video, what can we do? And, um, the methods I use in season 4, season 5, season 6 are the same as what I do now, pretty much. 
But um, this season we have the introdu introduction of the Mighty Mumble Man, which I don't think anyone really likes. Pretty annoying, I'd say. I like how you get an AR shotgun and a sniper straight away, that's a nice also. Good change. And we also this season had uh, the introduction of 5 XP added to some stuff. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much the video. In Chapter 2, Season 1, I got level 330, 395, no level sports. Chapter 2, Season 2, I got five, uh, 334. Wait, what am I saying? 354, bought nothing, bought no tears. And Season 3, I got level 225, bought no levels. Season 4, I got level 402, bought no levels. And that was the first season I decided to grind uh, higher. But I played for Telecan as well, so I couldn't focus on my account at one time. Um, and didn't play as much as I used to do. And then Season 5, I got level 531 and bought all tiers for the very first time and grinded on my account, focused it completely. And then Season 6, I got the second highest record in the whole world, um, level 635. And then this season, we'll see what I get, but um, yeah, thank you for watching the video, hope you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe, and sorry about me not focusing too much because of the lag as well, but um, you guys understood what I'm saying. But um, yeah, hope you have a great day, big announcement soon, uh, there won't be a stream today, there'll be a stream tomorrow, and um, yeah, I'm guys to my next one.